Once again, the familiar high speed and high tech carrot greets me. The train ride is a bridge between everyday life and the calm chaos of nature. Meeting up with fellow campers, we shoulder our gear and head off. The first steps are on familiar pavement, the sounds of the train station and civilization fading behind us. We trek about 10 kilometers, weaving through trees cloaked in mist. The high humidity clings to our skin, and with the sky blanketed in gray, it feels apocalyptic. By 4 p.m., the early evening settles in, bringing a dimness that signals the start of the forest's own time and the season of the cultists. We reach the campsite and find a lookout tower, deciding to climb for a vantage point, but the mist gives nothing away. Standing at the top, the world is muted, thick with fog, and somewhere distant, we catch the ominous sounds of gunfire. It's a reminder of the dangerous world beyond, just out of sight, yet surprisingly close. As darkness fully sets in, we huddle close to prepare a simple meal, which might be the last. The night is so still that the sounds of chopping and boiling water feel louder than they should. Can you hear something moving in the wind? Maybe, but warm tea in hand settles the nerves accepting the cold and the night as our companions. Next, it's time to get a fire going Sorry. because ghouls are afraid of the light. The wood is damp, but we're prepared. Feather sticks and a bit of soaked cotton catch flame and the fire comes to life quickly without the need for editing tricks. There's a sense of accomplishment in this small success as the firelight bounces off our faces and we can finally relax in the warmth. Or can we? The fire crackles steadily, barely keeping the darkness at bay. It's a rare comfort to feel the warmth against the chill night air. As we settle in, a bunch of strangers pull up in Volvos, lights piercing through the trees as they venture out to explore in the dark. It's an odd scene, a quick reminder that we are not alone. After we get rid of the bodies, we look for a spot to sleep, but find little good ground for our tarps. We decide instead on an old hut nearby, laying out our bedrolls indoors. It's not what we planned, but tonight, the hut feels like a welcome refuge, a roof to shelter us as we drift into a cold, quiet sleep, hopefully to live another day. Morning dawns, and we wake feeling rested despite the chill. I love it. 10 hours, 10 experience, yes. would buy again. Yes. We prepare a warm breakfast, savoring it as much for the heat as for the taste. Our bodies feel lighter, recharged and ready for the hike back. We leave no trace, but carry back something intangible. In these woods, we feel both small and strong. Until next time, when the call of the forest draws us back into its quiet strength for another adventure.